A possible hate crime, but a longtime business found a noose apparently left on the seat of an African American man's work vehicle. Now sheriffs are investigating. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski explains what is being done. Oriental Trading Company says they fired the person responsible for a June 18th incident at their La Vista location. The family of an African American employee says a small noose was left on the seat of the vehicle he drives to clean the facility by a coworker. This photo was posted on the Da Hood Table Facebook page depicting what happened. A local woman who says she's the niece of the victim spoke about what happened with a local YouTube blogger. It's not a very big one, but it is a noose all the same. Mm -hmm. It still means the same thing. It doesn't matter the size, it's the threat that's implied it's by it. The Sarby County Sheriff's Office is now investigating the situation and working to track down a suspect. It's being talked about at the Culture House, a place where people gather in part to support equality. Yeah, it was a, definitely a, a hate crime, an act of domestic terrorism. You wanted someone to be in fear for their life. We know what lynching means in this country to black people. It was purposeful. It was intentional. It's an old fear tactic, but the thing is, um, I, th I think we're in a new paradigm regarding uh, thought. Oriental Trading President and CEO Steve Mendlick said, quote, We are saddened and angry that a member of our Oriental Trading family was recently targeted in a racial incident. We absolutely do not tolerate hate or racism in our company. After learning about this cowardly act, we immediately launched an internal investigation and filed a report with local law enforcement. Some say it's time to teach all employees there's no place for racism. You know, immediately having some kind of training for racial sensitivity is important. Um, I think having, you know, uh, a talk exclusively with the black people that, that work there um, is something that's important too. Again, the Sarby County Sheriff's Office continues to investigate. They're doing interviews and collecting any evidence. They say it could be considered a terroristic threat and possibly have a hate crime enhancement, but any final decisions on whether charges will be filed or not will be up to the Sarpy County Attorney's Office. Reporting in Sarpy County, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.